So this ball line animation is done entirely using After Effects and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. We will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one animation and width I'm going to set this to 1920 and height I'm going to set this to 1080. Let's multiply it by 6 because we're going to create a very long composition something like this so it's 1920 by 6480 and just click on ok so here we have our composition now uh, over here we are going to like draw our shape so first i'm going to like enable proportion grid so that we can have some guidance just like that now once you're done with this we can select the pen tool and we can start drawing so first i'm going to set the fill to none and stroke color i'm going to set this to red for now and let's increase the stroke width as well to just see what we are doing now we can start drawing our path so i'm going to like pick a point so somewhere around here like somewhere in this region so this is the middle line so just simply click now you can just go to this point just click and drag now hold on the shift key to make this like straight so i'm going to like move it till we are like somewhere in between these two lines so after that you can like start creating your path so i'm going to first move my ball to like this direction so it's completely up to you you can pick a point so let's just simply click to this point now you can drag as well now hold on the shift key and let's move this anchor point or these handles to somewhere in between these two like that so i think this looks good now we can probably like move it to this side because we want it on the edges as well perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to make our ball like move across the screen so for that you can like hold on the alt key or option key on mac then you can just simply move this and let's move make it straight line something like that perfect so once you're done with this we can like go and just click to this point like this and now we can like start creating the shape as well again we can hold on the alt key to create these handles now hold on the shift key to make these straight so somewhere around here perfect now we can hold on the alt key let's move this and hold on the shift key to make this line straight perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to like create the curve over here as well so after this i'm going to like click somewhere in the middle so hold on the alt key hold on the shift key and let's create a point like this maybe we can like move it to this point perfect now we can like go to this point just click and drag perfect now we can like make our ball like go across the screen so again we can move this handle over here hold on the shift key just click over here now hold on the alt key to create these handles again let's move these handles to somewhere around here now you can hold on the alt key and just move this handle hold on the shift key to make it a straight line perfect now we can probably select this point and let's just click somewhere around here hold on the shift key and after that we can like click in the middle and hold on the shift key to make it like that so that it will go back perfect so here we have our structure and our ball will start from here then it will move across this path perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to create our ball so first i'm going to like hide this so let's disable this now let's create a background right click new solid and i'm going to make it like completely white just click on ok let's place it at the bottom perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to create our ball so for that you can select the ellipse tool now make sure none of the layer is selected just hold on the shift key and just drag it will create an ellipse like that now i'm going to remove the stroke set it to zero fill i'm going to like set it to 100 and let's pick a darker color like that now we can select this press s and let's just scale this down to something like that now it's completely up to you can like make it however small you want so let's just keep it to this size perfect now we can like place it in the middle of this so you can select the use the align panel so if you're not able to see it you can go to windows and from here you can enable it perfect our next step is to like move this ball across this line path which is actually quite easy all we have to do is just simply select this line path and let's open it up so go under content we have the shape we have this path now let's click on the stopwatch so that it will create a point now we can select this and let's press p for position now just select this keyframe press ctrl c just select this position press ctrl v to paste it now you can see that our ball will automatically start following this path 
but you can see that it is moving like very fast we can fix that by simply playing around with these keyframes so first thing first i'm going to like change all of these keyframes to normal ones so right now these are rope across time so i can if i move this last keyframe you can see that the all the intermediate keyframes are like changing accordingly but we can like get rid of this by simply selecting everything right click now uncheck the rover cross time now we have all the normal keyframes perfect so in the beginning i'm going to like start it from here like that now we can like start animating it so let's just go to somewhere around one second and i'm going to like move all of these so first we want this to like go to this point so for that we can like bring couple of these points over here so this is the final point so it will start like this and it will go to this point perfect now the next step is to make this path smoother so for that we can like select these keyframes and we can probably select this as well let's press f9 let's select these let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph now we are going to like play with these so let's select them and let's press f9 let's select them press f9 as well now we have simple easy keyframes now in the beginning i'm going to like change the graph to look something like that so it will start very slow and after that it will like gain speed now at this point we don't want it to like stop over here so for that we can like select this keyframe right click let's go to keyframe velocity and make sure that this is check continuous lock and just click on ok so once you're done with this we can like play around with their position let's move it further apart now we can select both of these keyframes and if i lift it up something like that here you can see we have like created this sort of thing now if i press play you can see we have this very smooth motion as our ball is moving and then it goes to this point so now it's completely up to you can play around with this curve and let's go to this point so i want the ball to stay over here and not move like start moving immediately so it's actually quite easy all we have to do is just simply delay this like that now we can like bring this keyframe closer so here you can see we have this ball coming in but we can like make it a little bit more smooth and like bring it a little bit more closer so our ball will come here then it will go across perfect so at this point we can like start moving again but i want it to like start really slow like this so here it will start and at this point it will stop because we have this keyframe very close so we can probably like move all of these ahead and again we can do the same thing just lift them up and let's create a curve so here it will start and then it will move to this point again we can play around with these and let's just make it like that so here we will have this sort of animation and as it stops again after that we can like move these ahead so let's just move them ahead and again we can like start very slow like this so it will start slow and then it will like add speed but we can like delay it up so i think this looks good again over here as well we can like make it start slow or maybe like let's set this to bottom like that now we can increase the space between these keyframes let's select them press f9 and let's move these keyframes far away something like that so now if i press play and maybe like this is way too slow we can like make it and let's bring it closer so yeah i think this looks good and after that our ball will like go out of this frame maybe it's too fast so we can like move it a little bit ahead perfect so here we have our final animation now if i press play so you can see we have this ball coming in then it goes back then it comes in and after that we have this motion 
perfect so here we have our animation now we are ready to animate the line as well so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so the line animation is actually quite easy all we have to do is just simply animate a trim path so for that we can like enable trim path and i can open this up and we are going to animate the end property and the start property as well so first i'm going to set this to like zero so we have the start over here and we can add a keyframe for end now we can like move a little bit ahead like somewhere around here then you can start moving this line and just make sure that this is always like behind the start like that now we are moving it very slowly because we have different type of easing on all of these keyframes so over here like it will be very slow let's just keep it to this point so now you can see we have this line and let's go to this point and just make sure that this line is always touching this ball so you have to like manually move frame by frame to check this out so over here as well we can like move this line like that now let's move to this point and we can probably move this line to somewhere around here now let's go back few frames back and just make sure that this line is touching at every point so again you have to like move a couple of frames to just to check whether this line is touching or moving ahead or lagging behind so somewhere around here it is lagging behind now it is touching and somewhere around here as well it is lagging behind so we can just increase this value a little bit perfect so at this point we have this line now we can animate the start as well but starting animation is very easy all we have to do is just add a keyframe so this is the keyframe and at this point i'm going to like just copy the end value and just paste it over here so that both of these ends will like come together now i'm going to select these two keyframes press f9 just the top one press f9 let's go to the graph editor and i'm going to like change it to look something like that so now it will start very slow now if i press play you can see we have this sort of motion and it will start very slow then it will go back to this point now again we have to like keep on repeating this step so let's just select this point and let's move a couple of frames ahead and let's just start animating the end property again you will have to like check frame by frame whether this is moving ahead or not let's go somewhere around here let's just now it is moving perfectly so somewhere around here it will touch the ball let's move a little bit ahead and let's just keep it over here so somewhere around here you can see that we have this gap so just make sure to fill these gaps completely like this perfect now again with the start point we can like just copy this keyframe this value and just paste it over here so that both of these lines will match now we can like select this and let's go to the graph again we are going to change to the same thing so let's pick this point let's change the graph to look like that now if i press play you can see we have this coming in and then we have this line coming up perfect now all you have to do is just keep on doing this and just keep on animating the end and the start property so i will come back once it is done Alright, so now I'm done with the animation. Let's just preview it. So here you can see we have this ball and we have this line following it very nicely. Perfect. So we are pretty much done with this. Now let's just simply play with a couple of these things. First, I'm going to like change this and let's just decrease the stroke. And I'm going to like set this to let's say 10 or 15 maybe. I think this looks good. Now we can select this. Let's open it up. Go to content, trim path and go to shape and over here we have the stroke let's open up and go to taper we have this end length and i'm going to like increase it just play around with these and we can probably play with the starting end so now you can see we have this very nice smooth fading line again this is completely up to you if you want to have like this bulky line then it's up to you otherwise you can like increase this start or the end length most probably one of these will work so just set this to 100 now we have this very nice ending 
perfect so we are pretty much done with this now let's add our text quickly so for that we can just simply select the text tool now let's just type now it's up to you whatever you want to type and here we have our text now i'm going to like quickly align it to the composition now let's just pick up point so we have this now let's probably press s to scale this up now let's move a couple of frames ahead so here we have the line basically want this text to be somewhere around here let's just increase its size and place it over here now in order to animate this we can like simply search for blur and you will notice that we have a bunch of different presets so we have this blur and fade in so if i drag it over here now if i select this press u just pick a point so somewhere around here we want this to like start so here you can see we have this text coming up but we want it to be like very fast so i'm going to move this keyframe closer like that so here we have this text perfect then the same way we can duplicate this text layer and let's just simply go to somewhere around here like that now we can select this and let's just move the text up to this point so let's move a little bit ahead till we have this line so just place the next text over here and just type whatever you want i'm going to type motion graphics and here we have the text now again we can play around with its timing so we have this ball coming over here and it is moving to this point like that yeah i think this looks good perfect once you're done with this we can select this press ctrl d and let's type our final text let's type motion nations and i'm going to like just place it somewhere around here again we can like change this position later on once we have this final composition so i'm going to like just leave it over here now let me just quickly change the color of this line so let's pick it and let's set this to this dark color just click on ok perfect now we are done with this now our next step is to like animate it properly with the camera or something so instead of camera we can just simply create a new composition let's call this main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 because this is going to be our final comp just click on ok now over here we can drag the animation composition let's open it up we can like get rid of this solid and let's open this up let's right click let's add a new solid over here now i'm going to like change its color to a little bit of white something like that let's place it down below now we have this composition which is like quite big so i'm going to like pick a point somewhere around here now let's select this press p for position let's add a keyframe now we're going to just basically start animating it according to this ball so somewhere around here we have this now we can make use of this as well so let's select these press u so you can see that we have this over here now at some point around this we can like go and just change its position so i'm going to like move it to this side and just drag it to somewhere in the middle of this composition like that now we can select these keyframes press f9 now if i go to the very beginning now if i press play you can see we have this motion but again it's up to you you can just play around with these however you want Let's select this and I'm going to like make it start very slow. And I think like this and at some point over here, we can like move it like that. So yeah, perfect. So here you can see we have this motion and we have this ball coming in. Now at this point, we can like keep it over here. And once it goes to this point and starts animating from here, we can have a, another keyframe now let's open this up so we will have this ball stopping somewhere around here let's go to the main comp and i'm going to like again move this down below till we see the ball so we have this ball over here let's move it somewhere around this point again let's press play and here you can see we have this now we can tweak this further again so we want this to like start really slow like that and yeah i think this looks good perfect so at this point we will have a second text now let's pick a point so somewhere around here let's add a keyframe let's go to the very end which is something like that and let's go over here and i'm going to like just drag it till we have this motion text over here or we can like drag it till we can see this coming up at the top you can probably like move this keyframe like that 
perfect so here you can see we have this going at the top perfect now we can play around with the settings and you can see we have this motion text it is now actually quite down below so we can like make it up so let's go back and let's just select this and we can like move it move it like a little bit up so let's just move it a little bit up more till you can see we have this in the center perfect so now we have this text in the center now our last step is to like align these keyframes as well so let's just make this start slow and like that so i think this looks good now we don't want this key this text to like pop up so we can like extend it so that it is already present there now here we are done with this animation now if i press play you can see we have this ball coming in and we have this very smooth motion we have our text and then we have this thing if you want to have like changing colors and everything then let me just quickly show you so first we can like drag four color gradient let's just search for four color gradient and let's drag it over here i'm going to like make it this black and this black as well this we can make a little bit of yellow and let's just move these like far away so that this is sort of dark like that yeah, i think this looks good now we can go to this animation and we can like drag this four color gradient on top of this line which we have over here now on this one we can like play around with the colors and we have this line and let's play around with this color just click over here you can see we have these four points so one point i'm going to like set over here one will be somewhere around here this one we can like place it over here this one we can like place it like this so now it will have like these colors going on depending upon this gradient like that now we can search for fill as well let's drag it onto this ball and i'm going to check change this to white because we have a darker background just copy this and paste it onto these text layer as well now if i go back and if i press play here you can see we have this ball and we have now like changing colors just like that now again it's up to you you can play around with whatever you want you can make the ball smaller or however you want at last you can add an adjustment layer and on top of this you can like stack different glows and just play around with these properties let's make this like a bit sharper let's lower it down press ctrl d and i'm going to like increase this up perfect so here you can see now we have this very nice glow to this perfect so this is how you can create these kind of ball and line animation in after effects just like that so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one